Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're gonna get into a variety of topics, but this first topic we are gonna get into that Tesla has now updated their website with a new infographic video of a Model 3 onto the website. So we'll take a look at it, see what we can piece from this, see if there's any Easter eggs on it and much more topics. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis and let's run that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another video. Thanks for watching another stream. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best UI in Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to my latest Patreon members, Jen. Thank you for supporting. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down down below in the description. But let us take a look at this show. Shout out to Sario Merritt, of course. Quote, Tesla now shows a cool new video when you visit the Model 3 order page in the US. And so kind of interesting that they've done this, right? I mean, this was probably in the works for a while now. So far, they've updated the Model S page, the Model Y page, and really the only page that's left is now the Model X. So right now here's the Model S video. You can see it's, I think it's like CGI or, CGI or AI or something, cause it's not like a real Model S. It's like so, some sort of like enhanced cartoon or something like that. Here's the Model Y version. This one you can tell for sure. It's real footage of real people and real cars and real climates driving a Model Y. So very cool and very nice highlighting the third row and a bunch of other features including gaming. And then now we've really only have left is the Model X page. You can see right here, really not any sort of video dynamicness. It's just a static image. But jumping to the Model 3 side, very interesting that they've done this, right? Because potentially a new Model 3 might be coming out in the near horizon. So it's almost like they were doing working on this for a while now, and they've done this just to try and bring some more excitement in the near future, or even now to try and sell a Tesla vehicle. But they've highlighted the gaming of it. This is the buggy driving game, the interior console, the rear seats with the white interior, the, of course, the glass roof where you can see everything. And that's interesting, right? Because there is a front that shows like it's automated, right? It closes automatically with like a click of a button or automatically by itself. Itself, but we know a Model 3 does not have that feature at all. It does not close motorized like that. You have to manually close an auto frunk with a Tesla Model 3. But maybe that's a feature coming onto the new one, the new Highland, the new refresh. And so maybe that auto frunk or the frunk motorized frunk would be a nice feature. On top of this, this blue, I've always liked the Tesla blue. I loved it on my blue Tesla Model Y that we had. And so I really feel like it's one of the better colors. If if I were to rewrite this script, I would probably try and get either a black Model X or a blue Model X. Don't, you can, really cannot go wrong with either of those colors. But you can see there's a cycle of colors there on the Model 3. And of course, this is a Model 3 performance that's highlighted here. And that's really where you can get all the best deals these days. Most of the higher priced or higher discounted Tesla model vehicles that have discounts by the end of the month, which is basically today or tomorrow. So a little bit of a rush if you're trying to take delivery and try and take delivery of a Tesla vehicle. Right now, for instance, this one located in Virginia, 55 miles on it, white with white interior, and it's gotten over $3,000 discount coupled with the 7,500 federal tax credit that you get on all Model 3 trims and Model Y trims. And also on top of that, you couple that with a Tesla referral code with that on top of that. So you can get an extra 1,500 loot box credits for by the end of this month. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what your thoughts on the new page of this website of the Tesla Model 3. They're definitely nice enhancements. But definitely a CGI type of feel to it. Not really like a real vehicle or and, and there's maybe with some sort of enhanced design animation that I'm not too hip about. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. You support the channel. So definitely check it out if you are interested. Juan, thanks for coming in. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. 
just PSA, we will be traveling all weekend. So we're going to be on the travel setup. So uh, and our timing might be a little bit off. Other than that, we are running a giveaway with 3D Mats USA. Shout out to 3D Mats USA. We're giving away a set of all weather floor mats for your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. So if you want to join in, giveaway ends in, I want to say like a week from now, find this post on our community page on our YouTube channel. And you got to find and click into this video so that you can get into it and join the giveaway. Uh, shout out to 3D Mats USA for sponsoring. And we're going to be giving away a set of all weather floor mats. 3D USA all weather floor mats for either your Model 3 or your Model Y. So definitely be on the lookout if you're interested in winning a set of that. And this next topic, it seems like if you know, if you know, there's been a the loot box program, the Tesla referral program, where if you refer a customer or of someone that you know to buy a Tesla Model 3, Y, S, or even X, you can get extra loot box credits or they can get $1,000 off and much, much more. But taking a look at the actual website from how I read it today, there might only be two days left in this program. So we'll take a look at it and this might be this video that is announcing to everybody that there are two days left if you want that extra 500 supercharging miles or 1500 tesla loot box credit or even the thousand dollar model s or model x discount it might be two days left so we'll take a look at it but if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking as lights call but basically just getting the best behind tesla at the best finds here so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested and so let us take a look at this so this is of course our referral page thank you to everybody that's used our tesla referral in the past and in the future and you can also find this tesla referral code down below in the description as as well but if you take a look at this this is a standard one most people will see get the same exact page it actually says right here smack dab in the print quote new vehicle orders by june 30th 2023 receive either a referral cash bonus or loot box credits redeemable for exclusive rewards model s and model x also receive three months of full self-driving so we already knew that that's the offer you can get a thousand dollars if you're buying a model s or model x off plus the three months full self-driving and of course three years of supercharging and then a model three and model y you can get 1500 loot box credits which then translates to about 500 supercharger miles but the interesting thing with this is we've had a couple of referrals reach out to us after they took delivery and they got like 2000 referral points or 1500 2000 loot box credits on top of that so let me know if you what type of valuation or with what type of number you actually got. Did you get actually get 1,500 loot box credits or even the 2,000? But the big thing with this is, as it says right here on the page, quote, new orders by or new vehicle orders by June 30th of 2023. So if you're buying a Model S or Model X, that could be huge value because this is an extra $1,000 off. If you're buying a Model 3 or Model Y, it's kind of just the carrot on top, the icing on the cake because that's about 500 supercharged miles but just something to be aware about if you're looking to place an order if you want to get yourself locked in with the pricing and all that stuff so you're hedged against price increases today might be the day or even tomorrow might be the day to try and throw in your order click the referral link down below in the description or even try and use the referral link referral link on an inventory vehicle so how you do that is you open up the page first the referral link then head on over to waitingfortesla.com find a discounted tesla vehicle that you're interested just like this one right here a model why white with black with $2,600 off. Click the reserve button. It's going to take you directly to the Tesla page. You're going to get this green check mark that shows that the referral code is linked up. And then you can go ahead and proceed to actually place a deposit and order. So just a little bit of a PSA. If you are out there, if you need to reserve a vehicle or place a vehicle, it seems like the referral program in its current state might be ending by the end of this month. I bet Tesla did this so that they could change the program if they need to. They probably just wanted to test it for a month and they didn't want to put anything in writing that will show to the effect that it might be lasting for much longer than that. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we that. This video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. Where you spread the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. All right. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back. 
If you're just joining in, welcome. Tesla has updated the Tesla website and now there is a special new video on the Model 3. And I think it looks fantastic in this blue. I kind of wish I got it in blue, maybe the Model X in blue. I mean, I, I know I wish I got a Model X in blue or even black. I thought black would be the best. But at the end of the day, we got to figure out and follow whatever the best deal is at the end of the day. And in this next topic, there is a new fantastic website where you can actually visualize what your Tesla Cybertruck color might be based upon a wrap or based upon any other colors. And there's a ton of colors on this. So we'll take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking and select call it. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. Shout out to EV Edition. They highlighted this new website. It's called Cybertruck Wraps. And actually, Sawyer Merritt also highlighted it as well. Here's a video where he compiled all the different random colors that you can play with it. And it is pretty fantastic that this website has built this together. But I guess they're trying to probably roll out with a Cybertruck wrap themselves. And there is a ton of colors and a ton of different wraps you can play with. This is a section right here. You can see it at the bottom where maybe you can't see it. It's called color flips where you can do all these different types of cross psychedelic flips or really multicolor flips and then, then you can go to textures where you can do like carbon fiber brush steel black brush black and all that other stuff and on top of that there's a satin finish wrap which you can do here's key west perfect blue a smoldering red it doesn't really look that good in red so i kind of want to skip that on top of that but there's battleship gray i think battleship gray would probably look the best because that's kind of like a matte gray it's dark gray looks good as well i think any color that's going to be dark is going to be looking good uh, for sure Here's the matte section, which is film switch, film finish. So that's uh, black, dark gray. Here's a white matte. Red just doesn't look good. Something's just off about it. I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. You can mess with it. You can rotate it around. You can share it with people if you want to and receive more updates because this company is probably going to be releasing some sort of Cybertruck wrap to play with it so you can really see and what it's like. But here's a blue, intense blue on top of that. I'll post this into the live stream chat and also so probably the description down below if you want to play with it but a really cool site that you can probably play with it for like a quick second see what colors that are actually out there try and visualize it visualize it visualize it but it's uh, definitely fun and uh, probably something you could play with for about a few minutes but pretty cool stuff let me know what your thoughts on it let me know what you're thinking we're going to jump into the next topic, but before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description of the Patreon link, we support the channel, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Charles, thanks for coming in. Question about inventory deals. Does delivery need to happen by June 30th or just the purchase commitment? That's a great question because right now we're two days left. If you lock in and lock in on an inventory, you're pretty much locked in on price. Tesla is going to try and make you take delivery by the end of this month, but most likely it is not realistic. They might even try and give you ultimatums, but uh, yeah, just it, your, your miles may vary on that one. They might even say, just use Tesla financing, finance it, and then refinance it with a credit union so you can get a lower rate. And that's where you can get the full credit union list of all the different credit unions that are all lower than Tesla financing down below in the description. But uh, yes, I think that it's, it's a little bit of both. I would say your best bet, maybe try and walk into a Tesla store. I've been recommending that to a few people today and just talk to them, see what they can do for you. But they will try and make you take delivery by the end of this month, which is basically tomorrow at this point. In this next topic, it seems like another company and a bunch more are thinking about joining the Tesla Supercharger now, uh, Supercharger Network or the NACS plug. So we'll take a look at it and talk about it because I want to hear your thoughts. It seems like a lot of companies are joining in the bandwagon and unifying together, which is good, but uh, definitely some interesting uh, topics. So we'll jump into it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking and select thoughts. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. Shout out to sorry merit again breaking electrify america announced today that it will adopt tesla's north american charging standards connector to electrify america and electrify canada super fast charging networks i this definitely came out of left field for me i certainly did not think that volkswagen's company electrify america would join in on this because electrify america was created by volkswagen because of dieselgate and so i really thought they were going to be in line with all the germans and they were going to hold out onto their own ccs network 
network. But really cool see thing to see that Electrify America is getting on the bandwagon as well. And this will be cool because this means that much more, many more Tesla vehicles can charge at Electrify America. But I'm not sure if I actually would because Tesla's network, it's got a really cohesive network. You just roll up, pull out, plug in, and you start charging immediately. And I've been to Electrify America chargers and it's just a little bit more of a pain trying to connect an adapter, use the app, download it to get it started and then be on your way. But because of this, I guess Volkswagen is also contemplating and discussing whether to optimize for NACS performance for their vehicles as well. So this will be huge because this will be the first German brand, I think, to join in on this. I mean, we had Volvo and Polestar the other day, which is Swedish or slash Chinese. And so now that the Volkswagen, if that happens, then I assume or I bet the rest of the dominoes will fall for all the other German companies after this. But here's the list of all the adoption of NACS. ACS in the past few days. Shout out to EVA Adoption or EV Adoption. We got Electrify America, Polestar, ADS Tech Energy, Kentucky Transport Transportation Cabinet, Volvo, SAE, and Set Shell Recharge. I mean, this is good because this is shows people are getting on board and we'll just have a situation where there's going to be a bunch of chargers out there, a bunch of vehicles with different ports, and hopefully everybody talks and connects to each and every one of them. Not like iPhone with the lightning and the USB-C. Everything will just be the one or you'll just have a dot at every single location but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it. which company or which manufacturer do you think is going to be next and we actually put a poll out there on the channel to try and figure out which you which company you all think would be next and a lot of people thought it was going to be kia hyundai at 46 percent then bmw mercedes-benz and audi then Toyota, Mazda, and Honda, but only 15% said Volkswagen Group, and look at this. It seems like Volkswagen Group might be the next one on the list for NACS adoption, but definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic, but before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below the description is Patreon link. Respond to the channel, so definitely check it out if you're interested. If you're just joining in, welcome. Tesla has updated the website for their Model 3 page, and now there is a fantastic dynamic video with all the different features that could be on a Tesla Model 3, highlighting it in a special form. But on top of that, if you're looking to purchase or reserve or lock in a Tesla order, if you're going to be on the, if you're going to be placing an order anyway, there seems to be only two days left for this referral program before I guess they change it in some sort of form. Because if you you go to the Tesla referral page, just like the one down below in the description, you'll see that it says right here, quote, new vehicle orders by June 30th, 2023, receive either a referral cash bonus or loot box credit. So definitely, if you're looking to place an order, you might as well throw it in right now. It costs $250. Click the link below. Click the link below, down below in the description first, and then head over, head on over to the Tesla website and place your order or even a vehicle inventory vehicle before placing your deposit. In this next video, we haven't we have not talked about Rivian in a while, and it seems like Rivian prices are taking a nosedive or even crashing. So we'll take a look at it because we do have a Rivian on order, and every single day, every single month, I'm pretty much getting further and further away from actually taking delivery because maybe this Cybertruck is coming out. But let's talk about Rivian prices in the market because this has everything to do with the Cybertruck pricing and market as well. So we'll talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best behind Tesla at the best finds here. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. So shout out to Rivian Tracker on Twitter. Quote, out of curiosity, I went to a few sites to see what they would offer me for my R1T. Now I'm not selling, probably a 2022. Quote, I have about 21,200 miles on it. Pretty on the high, pretty much on the high side if it's only one years old. But here is what we got. Carvana offered 63,000. Vroom offered 50,000, which is insane, and Cargrews offered 61,817. About 
62. Cars and Bids website shows that about 72,000, but it seems like a lot of mana dealers do not want to touch a Rivian at all. So I'm wondering, has the Rivian boat, the demand boat, basically uh, has it try, has it basically sailed off? And Rivians are are they not as much in demand anymore? Because I get pinged almost every single week or every other week at this point from Rivian to try and take delivery of our Rivian order ASAP, and they've actually given us a the access to the website where you can take a look at what's called the R1 shop because there's plenty of already built to configurated R1T vehicles actually out there that you can take delivery ASAP. You can see this is the page right here. I'm showing you the internal access of all Rivian vehicles. And the one thing you'll notice is that none of these are cheaper than eighty-eight dollars to $87,000. That's because these are all the quad motor engine. And I think, I think, I think that's just a little bit overkill at the end of the day for this truck but definitely some pretty interesting stuff it seems like Rivian at this price point is hitting a little bit of a demand weakness. So that's why I feel like I've revised my prediction. I really feel like the Tesla Cybertruck, truck, fingers crossed, of course, is going to come in around seventy to $79,000 because that, I feel like, will be the perfect price point. It will undercut all the uh, competition. And on top of that, it will also qualify for the 7500 federal tax credit because if it's under $80,000, dollars as an MSRP value, then it will actually qualify for the full 7500 or even half of the 3750 tax credit, which Tesla has somehow made their Model 3 and Model Y qualify. So I could easily see Tesla rolling out and bringing out the Tesla Cybertruck around that same price under $80,000. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. We support the channel and we can get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. Description. Delta Jesus, welcome back. Thanks for coming in. Hey there. How much do you think the new Model 3 Highland, do you think, well, how much do I think the Model 3 Highland will be? I think it'll be either the same price or maybe even slightly more, maybe one to $2,000 more. Do you think it will be the same price as the Model 3 standard range? I don't think so. I think they're going to keep it the same price as what it is now, now that they've got this fancy video on the website trying to bring more attention to it. But I think they're going to keep it the same price, maybe just a hair more, like one to $2,000 more than the current Model 3, but it seems like they figured out whatever solution to clear out all the different Model 3s that they had. They had over, what, a thousand Model 3s in inventory, and now there's for some reason, only 132, but there certainly are some deals. If you are, if you don't mind buying the old Model 3, because there is a, definitely a new one coming out. I mean, look at this one, the cheapest Model 3 in the country right now, right now for sale, a Model 3 real wheel drive with a almost $4,000 discount. So if you're interested in this, this vehicle, definitely consider using a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, because it seems like there are only, there are only two days left to use a referral code and get the extra referral bonus or loot box credit. So definitely check it out. Link down below in the description. Click it open. Then head on over to waitingfortesla.com. Click one of these vehicles that you're interested in. Get the green check mark, and then you can go ahead and proceed to place your deposit and order on a Tesla. In this next topic, we're going to talk about should you trade your current vehicle in for a Tesla or should you sell it privately? We'll talk about the case for why you should probably trade it in and why it's maybe not as bad as you might think in terms of valuation. And you can always cross-reference it against a couple websites that I'm going to give you. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best behind Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. But this is what sparked my interest on this topic. So shout out to car dealership guy. He posted this quote, simple trick to get a better rate on a car loan. 
quote, trade in a car at the same time. Quote, lenders will typically perceive you as a less risky borrow, thus approving at you at a lower interest rate. And that makes sense, right? Because if you look at it from the bank's point of perspective, if you have buying one car, if you have one car and you're buying another one, then adding two loans to that might get the bank to be a little anxious. But if you're telling your bank that you're going to sell the vehicle privately, you got to do that beforehand so it's off your credit and they don't see it anymore and or trade the vehicle into town. Tesla. So there could be some pros to this, like should you trade in your test or your vehicle to Tesla? And from what I've seen and heard is Tesla is kind of a little bit lax on trade-ins. They don't really check the condition or anything like that because that's not their bread and butter, right? They're not going to go ahead and turn that vehicle around and sell it. Or they're going to just wholesale it to someone else. And so they don't really don't care too much on the value and probably they've lowballed you on it on top of that. But the other thing with that is if you are trading in your vehicle, you're probably going to get a better approval rate for financing or even lower or all the way as low as the 5.69% for financing a Tesla. But on top of that, it's probably also an easier process if you trade in your vehicle to Tesla. You don't have to spend time trying to sell it privately or other dealers. But the last thing is you want to make sure that your state, some states have a trade in credit where you only pay the difference on the difference in tax or the, you only pay the tax on the difference between the two vehicles. So if you're trading in a vehicle that's $30,000 and the purchasing and the vehicle that you're buying is $50,000, you're only going to pay the difference only $20,000 in purchase price for on the sales tax. Not every sales state or not every state does this in terms of giving you a sales tax credit. But on top of that, if you want to sell it privately or to other dealerships, there's plenty of other companies out there that will give you a higher valuation. Here's a great website that I go to pretty frequently to try and get some sort of valuation on whatever vehicle I'm trying to sell. And what's cool with this site, you can essentially just put in the exact vehicle, make an even trim, then put in like the current mileage. You actually don't have to put in any of your mile or your any of your location or even finance date, and it'll give you an exact value off of the get-go. You can see I skipped those last two options and I just click get offer now and it gives you a value right off of the bat if you're interested in proceeding with their trade-in. I what I do is my process, I cross-reference against Car Buyer USA, I cross-reference against my local CarMax. And then the last thing, which is actually my favorite, is I try and find how high rated or high reviewed local dealers around me that only sell used cars. And I take all these offers and go to them and I just say, hey, can you beat it by 500 or 1,000 or even $2,000? If you think about it, those local car dealers, that's their bread and butter. They need that inventory from you to try and turn around and sell it. So that's why I always try and sell to those dealers, especially if it's a higher price vehicle. But if it's a vehicle that's anywhere from five to 15 to even $20,000, I would actually say, just sell it on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. You're going to find a lot of people that are local around you that will probably just give you straight up cash to be and sell to them and be on your way. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know if you have experience with this and what you was your what was your motive or what was your process? We're going to jump into the last topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is the Patreon link. We can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. If you're just joining in, welcome. Tesla has updated. Where did it go? Tesla has updated the website for the Tesla Model 3. And now there is a fantastic brand new video of the sleek Model 3 in blue. You can see there's Model Y and Model X in the background, highlighting some of the crazy or cool features that a Tesla has, including minimalistic interior, white interior, glass roof, a buggy uh, driving video game, a auto frunk, which actually the Tesla Model 3 does not have that or motorized frunk. Maybe it's coming on the new one. Of course, this is also a Tesla Model 3 performance and if you're looking to order a Tesla or buy a Tesla, it seems like there is only two days left in the referral program for the Tesla loot box referral program because if you click open a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description, you can see here that it says new vehicle orders 
by June 30th, 2023. And if I'm not wrong, that's basically tomorrow. So a little bit of a PSA. If you're looking to buy, place an order for a Tesla, you've got one to two days left to lock in your pricing or get $1,000 off or even 1500 loot box credits. Loot box credits. So the good thing about placing an order is you're locked in and you're protected against any sort of price increases. And on top of that, you do take advantage of any sort of price decreases. So definitely consider locking it in, getting your extra 1500 loot box credits. Or if you're buying a Model S or Model X, $1,000 off plus three full months of full self-driving. So definitely consider doing that. And, doing that. and thank you to everybody that has Thank you to everybody that has used our referral code in the past and in the future. But if anybody's out there is about to buy a Tesla or about to buy a Tesla, definitely consider using some of our Tesla accessory discount codes down below in the description as well. We got 3D Mass USA and premium floor mat for your Tesla. We got Vion and Jawa for interior accessories for your Tesla and also Tesloid and Magback. All these codes and links are down below in the description. And on top of that, a little bit of a PSA if you're interested in winning. We got a giveaway on the channel right now if you're interested in winning a set of all weather floor mats for your tesla sponsored by 3d mats usa head on over to our community page on the channel it's right here scroll down about five posts and you'll see the exact post for the giveaway so that you can go join in and get it win a chance to win all weather floor mats sponsored by 3d mats usa for your model three or model y so thank you to 3d mats usa for sponsoring and good luck to anybody out that out there that is interested in winning a set Chris, sell it privately. Yeah, privately is the way to go. But sometimes just selling it, like especially a higher price vehicle to dealers is a little bit better. Joseph, do you think Tesla will raise the prices back up to July for used Tesla? It's a good possibility, but used Teslas, I, I'm not, there's, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on used Teslas because the new price is a little bit lower. Chris, I'm getting low balled on my 2018 Chevy Tahoe with 51,000 miles and I looked at sold private party listings and I get five to six K more for it selling on my own. Yeah, Chris, 100%. That makes sense. Uh, selling private, it's especially if you can get someone to give you cash, then it would make sense at the end of the day. But also at the same time, there's time versus money equation. So like if you're going to get, you know, five to six K more, that is definitely worth it to try and spend the, you know, a couple of weeks or even a month to try and sell it. One, Quick question, if I set up the mobile connector with 1450, will it charge faster than the six miles per hour? Yes, 1450 is the NEMA plug, and yes, you will be you will be charging at about 20 miles an hour, probably average. Uh, if you do hardwire, you can get up to like uh, the speeds, like we've got ours hardwired, and it goes, I wanna say it goes up to like 45 miles an hour, but don't quote me, I mean, there's a there's actually a page on it, if you Tesla, but of course you gotta get the, you gotta get the Tesla wall connector if you're interested in doing that, which we, we're gonna be giving away one of these next month, hopefully, if we can finalize the sponsorship with uh, this company. But uh, either way, maybe maybe if we don't finalize it, maybe I'll just give one away either way, just because we're building hype on it. But the first thing you gotta do is be subscribed if you wanna win this Tesla wall connector. But you can see right here, if you hardwire the Tesla wall connector at 48 amps, you can get up to 44 miles an hour charge for the Model 3 and the Model Y. We've got it hardwired and on the Model X, yes, I'm getting, I think I'm getting about 35 miles an hour, which is, it's definitely worth it. I would say home charging is uh, worth it. I mean, I got the question twice today from people that scheduled a call with me on the Patreon link down below, below in the description about whether they should get a standard range or the long range. And my first question back to anybody that asked me that is, are you going to get a home charging setup because if you're getting a home charging setup then range doesn't really matter at all because not most people don't drive 200 to 300 miles in one day so you're just going to go home charge it up overnight just like you charge your iphone and then you'll be on your dip way the next day so you don't even have to worry about it. it really the only people that should be getting long ranges is if you don't have a home charging setup and if you do road trips constantly and or maybe your commute is 100, 100 to 150 miles a day, then I can see making the case for that. But even then, like if you've got the setup, if you've got the home setup, home charging setup, then it really it should be a non-issue at the end of the day. Paul, thanks for coming in. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. All right. In this next topic, we talk about the Tesla Model Y and Cybertruck a lot, but it seems like Tesla will be shutting down the Model Y production from Giga Austin 
just temporarily in response or for production line upgrades for the Cybertruck as well. So we'll take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us take a look at this. Shout out to Drive Tesla. Quote, Tesla to shut down Giga Texas for Model Y production line upgrades and shift employees to cyber truck line so it seems like from this that the cyber truck is act in actual finally going to be coming out with production we saw a few days ago that a drone pilot was able to see inside the tesla giga austin factory and see that the cyber truck is actually cyber truck machines are ready to go the giga press and all that so hopefully i mean tesla has and elon has said we should be seeing some sort of cyber truck delivery event maybe at the end of the third quarter and two days from now is the start of the the first day of the third quarter the third quarter ends in september so hopefully we should be seeing more details in the next couple months and more sales maybe on the model three because there's a lot of things that could be coming in the third quarter i mean maybe that's a good video idea like what to expect in the third quarter we're going to see model three going on super clearance that's my prediction maybe more discussion on this cyber truck and then model y probably hopefully ramping up in production or, or maybe even a price increase if production of the model y does not increase as well but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it let me know what you're thinking we're going to jump into the live stream comments but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link double entry business patreon link for the channel so definitely check it out if you're interested vietnamese style thank you thanks for coming in welcome back Joseph, can you clarify on what you said? You said if we reserve the car, we can take advantage of the price keeps going down even though we reserved it at a certain price. Thanks. Yes, Joseph. So anybody that's just joined in, a little bit of a PSA. It seems like the model, the Tesla referral program in its current state might be expiring because if you open up the Tesla referral code down below in the description, the Tesla loot box program, you can see that it says new vehicle orders by June 20, June 30th of 2023 will receive either referral cash bonus or loot box credit. So if you're interested in ordering a Tesla, if you're interested in locking in your price, being protected from any sort of price increases, definitely consider using a referral code down below in the description and go ahead and lock it in but you are also if this is joseph what's happened in the past is if people have placed an order and the price decreased because believe it or not tesla does a lot of price changes so you can see right here this is a price history tracker that tesla has done in the past and here are all the different prices that the model 3 has been throughout the past few months or even past few years and if tesla reduces the price like let's say that right here model 3 standard range they went from 41,990 down to 39,990 they actually made that update for all the people that had pending orders so you didn't have to do anything you got to take advantage of the lower price even though you already had a locked in locked in order from the get-go so as long as you have not taken delivery yet you will you will be able to take advantage of the lower price but thanks for joining in everybody thanks for supporting uh definitely Check out the links down below in the description. Definitely check out the Tesla accessory codes. Accessory codes down below in the description as well if you want to save some more money on buying accessories. We're going to be traveling for the next three days, so definitely please bear with us. So we're going to be going back to that travel setup. And also check out the giveaways on our YouTube community page if you're interested in winning a set of 3D floor mats for your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Vincent, should I buy the Model Y now or wait until January of 2024? My question to you, Vincent, on that is do you need a car now if you don't you can wait if you do then just buy but thanks for watching everybody thanks for supporting and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya